July 16, 1969. After Mercury, Gemini, four manned Apollo flights, triumphs, tragedy, and years of hard work from thousands of Americans, Apollo 11 was set to launch on its simply stated but monumental mission, perform a manned lunar landing and return. At 9.32 a.m., the 36-story Saturn V rocket used its 7.5 million pounds of thrust to propel astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins into space and history. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. Here we got a roll program. Three days later, Armstrong and Aldrin climbed into the lunar module Eagle to attempt the first ever landing on the moon's surface. Collins, who stayed behind on the command module Columbia, called Eagle the weirdest looking contraption I have ever seen in the sky. During the final seconds of Eagle's descent, with computer alarms sounding and fuel running dangerously low, Armstrong manually took control of the ship and steered clear of boulders that littered the landing site. At 4.18 p.m. on July 20, 1969, Armstrong finally radioed back to an anxious Earth. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Six hours later, at 9.56 p.m., Armstrong stepped off the Eagle's ladder onto the lunar surface. That's one small step for man. One Aldrin joined him on the moon about 15 minutes later. The astronauts spent two and a half hours collecting soil samples, rocks, setting up experiments, and photographing the surface from a vantage point considered impossible less than a decade earlier. Millions around the world watched on live TV. The crew made a triumphant return to Earth four days later with a splashdown in the Pacific Ocean. This was no longer the stuff of science fiction. It was fact. Men from Earth had visited another world and returned.